Rob, what on earth are you doing? Well, I'm cutting some thin strips and some thick strips out of white paper. Why? Because I want to show you and you something really quite interesting if we shuffle them around on a dark background. Well, have a look at this to begin with. Mm -hmm. Now, in that little picture, which one do you think is the shortest of the strips? Oh, the narrow one in the middle is shorter than the thick ones at the sides. Hmm, looks like it, doesn't it? Mm. That's what most people say. Well, what about this picture? What's shortest and longest? Well, in this case, the narrow one standing upright appears to be longer than the short, fat ones at the bottom. It appears to be, mm. but it isn't. It's really an optical, optical illusion. illusion. Yeah. Because if you get these strips and you compare them, I've got three of them stuck on there, you can see that the fat and the thin ones are exactly the same length. It's just the way you arrange them that makes them look shorter or longer. Yeah, it's a bit like the fact that it's difficult to compare the height of a person standing up with the height of a person lying on the ground or leaning against That's something. That's right. And if you look at the first one, the N, it's very hard to judge the length of something which is on a slant. Mm. And, and I the, guess in the second case, uh, it's a bit like a flagpole. A flagpole standing upright always looks higher than the length of a flagpole on the ground. That's right. It's an optical illusion. Well, there's no real trickery to it. And you can try this for yourself. All you have to do is to get a black background, or at least a dark background. It doesn't have to be black and a white card which is cut in the shape of a rectangle. Then you simply cut yourself some thin strips and some thick strips, and of course they'll all be the same length. Once you've got a few of them, shunt them around on the dark background and see if you can come up with your own optical illusions like those. Curiosity.